Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Maya here. Today we're going to be doing a small business Q&A. For all you people that want to know about what it's like to have a small business. Because we're going to do the small business Q&A. If you guys have more questions, leave them down below and we can see if we're going to do a part two. Because I barely got any questions and I want you guys to be nosy and ask me what you really want to know. Y'all didn't do that. Oh, actually, I do have something to talk about before we get into the video. So remember last video, I said that I wanted to show hoops, but he wasn't here. He's here now, so I can introduce you guys to him. So this is the baby hoops. Say hi. Look at the camera, hoops. Look at the camera. This is the baby. So this is my baby hoops. He's five months. He's gonna be six months on the twenty fourth. He's gonna be half a year. And. Yeah, I just want to introduce you guys to him. This is my baby. He's very loving. He loves getting kisses and he loves meeting new people. So, yes, I love you. Okay. You guys, my hopes he will be on the channel a lot more when I do vlogs, when we're doing vlogmas, all that type of stuff. He's definitely going to be in it. I can't wait. But, on for Halloween. How much you guys is cost? Alright, but now seriously, let's just get into the question so we can. Get this over with and get to the lip videos because I can't wait to do the lie detector test. Oh my god, I can use my phone now while I'm recording. This is so amazing. Thanks. Okay, so let me see. So the first question I'm going to answer is... How did you come up with your name? So, how did I come up with Simplicity? Basically, Simplicity is based off of Simply Maya. I wanted something. I wanted to do something that has to do with Simply Maya. So I felt like Simplicity. I searched up the meaning for it. I was like, oh yeah, this is definitely like this definitely describes me. This definitely would describe my business. So I was like, this is perfect for it, and it just fit perfect. Like everything. Everything was all put together once I chose that name and I was like, yeah, this is it. And then once I started printing out templates and stuff, I was like, yeah, this is definitely a vision that I can imagine myself having. So, basically, that's how I got my name, just getting it off of Simply Maya. Um, I didn't want to go, like, too far off Simply Maya. I, yeah, so that's how I got my name, based off my YouTube channel. Um, next question I'm going to answer is, what made you decide to start your own business? So what made me decide to start my own business is when I realized that I did not like working for other people and I like to be in control. Like I have to I have to know what's going on like me personally and me do the I don't know how to explain to you guys without like actually doing the working part. How I feel like when it comes to working. So once I realized that like I was like I really can't work for other people and I can't work with people just because like I don't like people's attitudes. I don't like like feeling like I'm at work to be in competition with someone or like something like that. So I felt like uh, I could do this. I could be my own boss. If you have the vision, if you have the dream, then you're able to do it. Just don't give up on it. If you can plan it and if you have all these plans to make your dream come true, then it's definitely going to come true. You just have to put the work in for it to come true. You get me? But yeah, just when I started to plan for it, when I was like, oh, I'm done with this. I'm done working for people that don't appreciate me after all the work I put in, like, that's just stuff. If you're gonna be making faces. You look beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna give up on your dreams because something, you can never plan for anything. Like, you can plan as much as you want to, but something's always going to change. And that's just the truth. Um, I'm gonna do, what was your first steps in starting your own business? So my first steps in starting my own business was getting a notebook and writing down all the plans I had in my head. Any plans, any ideas, anything that crossed my mind, anything that I felt like would be good in the future, I just wrote it down. Like, it was, I believe that it was like mid-March, mid-May, mid and I was already planning for October, like the breast cancer um research i had planned this already in march like i found the place in march and i already did all my research and i was prepared i mean march or may i was prepared for that so basically planning writing down all your all your ideas and not just going with the first thing that comes to your mind actually taking time and thinking about it 
that's just what it is making the moves planning and writing down all your ideas um, ask how do you keep yourself productive while running this business <sighs> productive is not me <laughs> i am not productive it's not when it's not YouTube when it's not my business like I can be really really lazy and nobody really sees that like when I'm talking about like, YouTube and like business wise because like when I'm into when I do my business and when I'm on YouTube I'm all for that like there's that's my hustle that's it that's that but I, I'm so lazy I don't have nothing planned for like two days I could just be in bed like watching Grey's Anatomy would not see no problem in that but then sometimes like i'll just get like a urge like no i had to be searching things up i had to be doing this i had to be doing that because then i feel like when i'm when i am being lazy like i'm not doing enough for my business so that's when i end up like getting up it's like okay i had to do something i have to work in some way some some form so i can feel like i'm actually doing something and doing better but when it comes to my business like i would literally plan like the week ahead like okay so wednesday i'm gonna fulfill orders thursday this and then friday i'm gonna send out orders so i always have that planned in my head and it's just knowing like okay i can have this break because sometimes it does get hard working monday through friday and sometimes even saturday and sunday because i need to fulfill these orders and get them out because things to, do take longer due to covid and i'm sorry about that but it is the truth and so sometimes orders do get messed up and i have to reorder the um item sometimes it does take a little longer for me to send out stuff just because i don't have everything on me and i have to order it and wait for it so i just wanted to let you guys know that that is how i keep myself productive like just planning ahead and basically just saying like i'm going to break these days um wait for people to pick up their orders how do you plan months in advance for example upcoming holidays okay this is a very important question that i feel it goes past so many people's heads when it comes to running a business this question is like when i saw this question i was like yo this question is amazing because that is such a good question like you really don't understand like it really does take months of planning for you to have your vision come to life if it's a holiday or even if it's just planning ahead like i already have valentine's day planned that's not until four months away and i already have like plans for that so you have to plan ahead like months because if you don't then you're going to end up getting stuck when it gets close to that time like what i did uh -huh, i kind of messed up for um um december for christmas time i had so many plans for christmas time but since i s took so long to make different things come out for december but i do have some things lined up already <laughs> to have a notebook or even if you use your phone like you have to have something to write down your ideas because if you don't you're going to have so many ideas flowing one day and then you're gonna wake up the next day and be like what was i even talking about like what was i like you know those ideas are not gonna be there and sometimes it's the best time to work at night time like my ideas just flow in the night like i'll never forget like the time that i actually like got my whole business stuff and got my license for simply maya it was literally five o'clock in the morning and i'm searching up all these things on my phone like how do i get a llc how do i do this how do i do that do i need to copyright my my name for my business next morning my mom wakes up not next morning but like my mom wakes up at six o'clock in the morning i go to her she's using the bathroom and i'm like mom guess what i own simply maya now she's like huh i'm like yeah i just bought my license for it like that's just what it took me like it was just like nope you're up you're gonna plan you're gonna do this you're gonna do that once i got my license it was like <laughs> that's it like i own simply maya like that's really me so that's just what it was you guys don't have to take those steps as soon as you make this small business just because you never know what can happen but i did it because i need that i needed that motivation so i can be like no whatever happens this is still my business like i i need to make something out of it yeah. it will be a good thing to definitely own your business so nobody can ever say anything to you what are they gonna say about you when it's yours you get me they can say so much but it really doesn't matter because you pay for it at the end of the day it's yours you own it um planning at night is one of my favorite things to do like i will literally stay up on two now i try to fall asleep at like four because i do have a puppy he does wake me up early like last night i fell asleep at five o'clock and i was up at nine already i was like <laughs> but what can you do that's just my advice if you're not able to um to plan during the day or actually like have a planner and a notebook then maybe you can just have your thoughts yourself and your phone and just start doing your research that's one of the biggest things as well doing your research for any of your plans or any of your ideas 
because if you fail at that part then you're not you're not gonna really have an outcome at the end because you don't really know what you're planning for you get me so that's how I plan for holidays months in advance I just write my ideas down and I definitely get straight to the ball game and I start to search up like how can this happen how can I get this how can I get a wholesale for this like things like that I try to find ways that can make it easy for me when I actually need to make the purchases okay what's the process what's the process like when you're packing and shipping out all of your orders and it's just me okay so like I said at the beginning of the video I don't really like when people help me just because I feel like if you mess up on something I don't want to get mad at you I'd rather get mad at myself for messing up rather than getting mad at someone else because I don't want anyone to feel bad so since it is my business I'm like I don't really like when people help me or touch my stuff because it's like what if you mess it up what if you do something wrong I don't want to take my anger out on you and I don't want no one to feel bad for what they did because at the end of the day it's my business it will be my fault at the at the end of it all saying was that it's basically always me when um, I'm fulfilling orders and shipping out orders because I don't like to get mad at someone else if they do make the mistake on whatever it is so um pretty much packaging and shipping is i have a process now which is like printing out all the simplest all the simplicities that i need to print out like whether it's youth youth whether it's adults whether it's beanies like i print that all out first i count it then i go over everyone's order um to make sure that everything is good like okay i'm gonna print out this this and that and have everyone's orders there okay i have all the items here then like i will have all the items already there all, everything already set up and then after that like i just start pa i start fulfilling the orders right printing um the simplicity on right ironing and on whatever um not whatever but you get me and then after that is the packaging which is one of my favorite parts because i love packaging the order sometimes it does get really difficult because sometimes when it's a hoodie hoodie hoodies are thick so it's like really hard so sometimes i had to put rubber bands on it and it gets so hard sometimes because the paper breaks and i'm like oh my god where do you see your business in five years um i imagine it being big i hope it's big i hope i'm big by that time um there's not really much I can say about that because it's rather like I just need to do the work and be consistent in what I do for, in order for me to actually be somewhere in five years. So I just pray and I hope that I do end up somewhere big in five years that I can give anyone the world. You got me? Give myself the world and anyone else the world. Um, but yeah, that's where I hope to see my business five years. I hope that basically answers it. I don't want to speak much on where I would be in five years because I don't want to let myself down if that's not where I'm at. But there's nothing else you can do but pray and hope that you will end up making it big. This one says, do you feel like you get enough support? Yes. Hello? Yes. You guys support me so much even when it's people that don't know me. And when the people that do know me, I thank you guys so much. And the people that don't know me, I thank you so much. But for the people that do know me and support me, you guys are the best. And I appreciate you guys so much. And for those that don't know me and support me, you guys make me feel like I'm going to really make it somewhere one day. Just because it doesn't matter who knows you, who doesn't know you. If it's something that they like and if it's something that's good, then they're going to support it. But yeah. So, of course, I feel like I get more than enough support. More than enough support. And as I just keep getting bigger and bigger, it's like, wow. Like, I really don't know some people that ordered oh i really don't know some people that order for me or subscribe subscribe to me and it's just like am i really that good of a person so the last one is do you ever feel like giving up so at the beginning when the whole covid situation had happened i stopped talking about my business i stopped i stopped recording on youtube and it was just like I really didn't care anymore what happened with it even though I did want it to be something that was I did want it to be something that was like you know for me I wanted it to be my future but it just got really hard to be it got really difficult for me at the beginning of COVID just because it was like um what am I even doing how am I gonna whoa I guess got play um how am I going to do this without having like anywhere to go? Like I felt like in order to be a YouTuber, and I still feel like this, like you have to keep people interested and you have to do things that people would like to see. Like I would love to, I try to get my license. I am going to get my license, but I try to get my license and something happened. We ain't going to speak about that though. 
but um basically just make moves from there like um going to target hall like having a vlog day in the life of my like i actually wanted to do something with my life and actually be able to go places that i'm gonna go like if you want to go to the mall upstate let's go to the mall upstate if you want to go to like it was really just things that i had wished for and it's like like i said at the beginning some things you cannot plan for and there's nothing wrong with that you can't you can't plan for everything because when you do plan for everything that's when you start to get let down but then one day I was just saying, like, you know what? I'm doing this. In the beginning of June, end of May, that's when I was like, um, nope, I'm going to do my research. I'm going to get my license for my business. It's not like I'm not doing anything. I have my business. And sometimes people are like, oh, yeah, you have your business, but you're not. No, I am making stuff because this is a job. Like, you don't understand? I have to come home and actually work. I have to fulfill orders. I have to make sure that I'm doing everything right. And when people email me, like, oh, I forgot to add my address I have to make sure I get those things done because if I don't get it done then what's gonna happen my orders are gonna get messed up all my business is gonna like go downhill like it's, it's just about if you do give up like don't if you have a dream then go for it and if it's not something that you're interested in, you can't force yourself to do something you don't want to if you don't want to um but yeah that's all I have for today for the small business people for the small business Q and A, um, it was just some questions that I had. A lot of questions my mom had asked me because not many people gave me questions. But if I ever do one of these again, guys, be nosy. Ask me questions that you really want to know. Juicy questions. I want you guys to know what it's like to be a, a small business owner. So yeah. That was the end of my small business Q&A. If you guys want me to do a part two, comment down below and leave me some questions. Don't leave me hanging this time. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to be posting my lie detector test very soon. I'm waiting for someone back there to let me know when we can record it. And I also have a surprise for you guys, hopefully in the next video. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell button before you leave. Um, but yeah. That's all for today. I will see you guys in the next video.